Hello, everybody. Hope you're having an amazing, heckin' lovely weekend. Welcome to episode six of Tuned In. I hope you guys are ready to roll in some laughs this weekend. I hope you grab your Saturday morning cereal and a couple of blankets and we are ready to go. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the show. My name is Pumpkin Potion and I'm a full-time VTuber here on Twitch TV. I am a heckin' adorable dame from 1931, a cartoon myself, of course. And I am the host of the Tuned In Cartoon Comedy Show, where we take four guests and have them improv over cartoons from 1940 all the way into the 2000s when they've never actually seen the cartoons before. So with that out of the way, let's introduce our new guests for episode six. Welcome in, guys. Hello. Welcome yeah. in, everybody. Hi. <laughs> hey, <what's up? laughs> oh shit! My my tracking why did it go away. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I'm fine. I'm fine now. <laughs> Every everybody good? Y'all good? Sorry. Hi guys. Sorry. Heaven right. Heavenly was up in the rafters for about five seconds. Mm -hmm. That was going crazy. <laughs> he, he was meaning to put down me. Get there. Down. He goes. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. I hope that you are super excited for the episode today. I'm excited to have you here. So why don't we go around the table and, uh, and introduce all of you for those that are watching at home and for those that may not be familiar with you. So we're going to start up with our first guest in the upper corner up here, Tob. It's Tob. Welcome to the show. Hi. And um, I have to clarify some things with you first. Yeah, of course. Uh, so... Quick. There are some people that yes. claim that you have a talented that's coveted by scientists worldwide. And I don't really yes. want to expose any secrets too openly, but mm -hmm. can we maybe talk about how your voice attracts Venezuelan poodle moths? And, and, and does having so many moths around you at all the time, is it problematic for your career? Sometimes it can get a little overwhelming. You know, sometimes I just walk outside and I'm just like, okay, I have to make sure I don't do this. But, you know, sometimes I'm just out and then I'm just... And I'm just like, oh, no. And then they just all start forming. And then, you know, at that point, you just got to run. Or you just got to have a bag of chicken grease on you and you got to throw it. So does, does the chicken grease help with the uh, Venezuelan poodle moth, like, attraction issue? Is that... Is that... It, gets them, it gets them to go away. You throw it one way and they go the other way. They get over their hearing and they go for their scent of smell. So it's like a decoy. Yeah. Works like a decoy. So we get out of there. Yep, just like that. You just throw it and run. And you just hope. You just pray. So have you just been dealing with that your entire life? Like your whole career? You've just been plagued by Venezuelan poodle moths? I think that's really brave. Yeah, yeah, you know, just sometimes when you're born into this world, things happen. And it is what it is. I it deal is with it one day at a time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are very so courageous, Tom. You are a wonderful person, Top. I, I wish the Thank best you. for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can't raise my voice when I'm at home or they'll be forming outside my apartment. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, welcome to episode th six, and I appreciate you being here. I hope you have a good time. Thank you. Next up, right below Tobbs, is the wonderful Basil. And uh, welcome back to the show, Basil. How you been? Oh, it's good to be back. I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm back to my roots, and I'm, and I'm ready mm -hmm. to party. Nice, nice. So Basil was on the pilot episode, guys, that aired live at Offkai VTuber Expo with me. And uh, and since your last time as a guest on Tuned In, you've been credited on social media as the founder of that gargling soup while beating each other with pool noodles trend. So where where did you find the inspiration to be such a trendsetter? Uh, TikTok, actually, because TikTok. I felt like there was definitely a void in the in the sort of uh, soup gargling category of TikTok. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always something I've always been a huge soup fan. Uh, I really love loaded potato soup with bacon specifically. Not the best oh, nice. for gargling, but it's got a nice texture if you're if you're not into that. Um, it's a little too chunky for a proper gargle, I think. It, it's pretty good. But like, it's not just about the soup. Let's be honest. Like, I if I could get people to watch simply soup gargling, that would all that'd be all I'm doing. But I'm trying to actually appeal to younger audiences. So, mm -hmm. so hence the, the hence the pool noodle. 
Yeah, yeah, we, we're slapping each other around. We're being we're being a little silly with it. We're being a little goofy, and I think that people really like it. I think that it's you know it's a little crass. It's a it's a it's a little it's a little goofy, but I think it's it's me, and um, I'm feeling good about where my career is going right now. If you want my real opinion on it, though, I think that this trend is going to hit much better than the uh, hitting each other with tortillas and water trend. I think I think the gargling soup really adds something to it. I think it reflects we'll, we'll well on your character. Yeah, we'll forget about the tortilla. <laughs> well, welcome back on the show, Basil. I'm so happy to have you for episode six. I hope you have a good time this week. I'm happy to be here again. <laughs> so let me introduce our next guest, the lovely Tiffany Witcher right up here. Tiffany, the, uh, the production team actually informs me that you've taken up competitive astral projection and, uh, you know, most people take up hobbies like equestrian ghost hunting or crochet. Mm -hmm. And as somebody who astral projects in the competitive scene, so do people truly get banished to the Shadow Realm or has Yu-Gi-Oh just been lying to us for 23 years? No, 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 they're absolutely not lying. There is something called the Shadow Realm and something called uh, going into the stars. Uh, so, like, you just have to be the best duelist out there. But sometimes, you know, these adult duelists don't like kids. So they just, like, you know, they just go kid hunting and just, like, get rid of these kids and just, like, have the best cars. Sometimes they cheat, though. They be using, like, illegal cars and things like that. But, yeah, the Shadow Realm definitely exists. Definitely exists. Definitely. I watch my share of duels um, in the astral projecting. Um, the one thing that you have to just be on the lookout is, like, people who, like, you know, bring magic cards in randomly and just, like, Uno cards. Is that a problem? Do they like, yeah, do, yeah. do they it's, smuggle it's, that into the astral projection competitive scene? There's a problem illegal. with magic. It's fully illegal. It's fully illegal. You can't be mixing cards. You can't be mixing cards, especially Uno cards. They're, they're, they're deadly, but there's no rules in the Shadow Realm. So what can you do? I mean, you got Yugi Moto. He always cheats. Have you ever it's run a, into him during like the astral projection uh, sometimes I, yeah, competitions? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, I'd be seeing him talk to himself and he's like, Pharaoh, we have to, we have to beat this duelist. We have to do this. And I'm just like, are you okay? He's like, no, no, no it's, it's just me. And then he just swaps. And I'm just like, now he's just talking to himself again. He's like, we can do this, Yugi. We can destroy all the children out there. I'm so <laughs> glad that you cleared that up, by the way, because I, that has been on my mind for the past 23 years of whether or not I've been lied to. And you know what? Maybe... Maybe we should talk after the show and see if, uh, you know, I, maybe I can learn to do some astral projection myself. I don't know if I can do it on, you know, your level of competition, but, you know, maybe it's just like a side hustle. Yeah, I'm just a bystander. I just like to watch. I don't do shadow duels. There's too many cheaters out there. Well, thank you for being on episode six, Tiffany. I really appreciate you. And I hope you enjoy this weekend. I hope you enjoy uh, being on the show today. Thank you for having me. Of course. Heavenly. <gasps> Heavenly, you hiding down in the corner. I see you. Don't think you can get away from this. Come back up here, you nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly, you were uh, planning to join us on a previous episode, but, uh, but, but you're here this episode. And I heard it was because you were staying for an auction in New York. So I'm really glad that you're back. I'm, I'm happy that you're able to be here with us. But what amazes me the most is that while you were in New York, you won an auction for David Bowie's cod piece from the Labyrinth. So how much did you bid to get your hands on this girthy piece of movie history? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's soup gargling. <laughs> hey, the train got to him. Man, the train's Sorry, really kicking off. A guy. There was a guy fighting me. Uh, I, I actually oh, won it by using a very ancient technique for uh, auctioning. So what you do, right? You get three guys, right? Three guys in on it. One guy to go up, and he's like, I'll pay $1 for it. I'll pay $3 for it. And then you keep going up and up and up. And while there's two guys doing that, there's a third guy. He's just talking to the janitor in the back, right? right. The janitor in the back is completely distracted. While they're doing that, I steal it. Do you think that maybe uh, admitting that you potentially stole David Bowie's cod piece from movie history on the show publicly, you're not worried that anyone's going to find out about that? No. Never. I'll be chilling. <laughs> like this. He's just gonna do the whole show. I wish I could chill. Can I chill like that? Yo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're chill like that, bro. Nice! <laughs> and thank you again, Heavenly, for, for being on this week. I really appreciate Woo! you. Let's go over to the main show, and I'll explain how the show works to everybody at home. Let's go. So, everybody stretch. Yeah, everybody do a big old stretch. You're going to need it. Let me 
explain to those at home uh, and the new pals here how the show works. The show is a one hour episode that will feature all of my lovely guests featured below. And I will be presenting them with six individual clips from random cartoon shows that aired between 1940 and 2000 some odd. Uh, all of these clips are prepared with the audio and dialogue edited out, so they have no idea what the context of any of these actually is or what episode they were taken from, and I will assign them some roles, and they will do their best to improv the dialogue, and then afterwards, I will play you the original, and we'll see how close they actually came. Are we ready to go, pals? Yeah. Do it. All right. Take a deep breath. Here we go. So, not all of us can, <laughs> not all of us can conjure magic before our very eyes, but Sabrina the Teenage Witch can. In this clip, Sabrina the Teenage Witch plays a visit to her cousin Ambrose when her aunt's broom isn't acting quite right. This scene will be between Tob and Tiffany. Oh, okay, I see how it is. Mm-hmm, you see how this is. I see how it is, okay, just pick the witch for, huh? okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have Tiffany play Sabrina in this one. I figured familiar territory, you know. And uh, Tob, you will be playing Sabrina's cousin Ambrose. We're gonna take a look at the edited clip first so that you guys okay. can kind of get your bearings a little bit. And then we'll play it again and give you guys your time to shine. All right, so let's take a look at the audio edited clip. Sabrina, of course. And Cousin Ambrose. Once again, Tob will be playing Cousin Ambrose, and Tiffany will be playing Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Take a deep breath, get ready to get magical in three, two, one, let's go. Oh, gee willikers, I look so good today. Oh man, I cannot wait to go to the Barbie movie. Let me go see if my cousin is gonna go with me. I'm sure he's gonna be dressed really nice. Boop, 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 boop. Cousin, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thanks, Sabrina. How are you doing? So, are we going to the Barbie movie or not? Yeah, we're gonna go. I just gotta get this broom working, you know. I don't get the hybrids; they don't ever work right. Okay. You know, you, sometimes it takes gasoline, and sometimes the electric wants to work. You gotta be careful with the lights and all that. And, oh, oh go, go oh, oh god! Oh god! I think I went on the other way. What are you doing? This thing is like a Tesla. I can't! I can't! I can't! What is happening? I don't know how to turn this off. It's too advanced for me, Claude. Oh, I think you put the wrong gear shift, cousin. This is why you gotta get driver's insurance. I think I broke my back. Well, I guess we're not going to the Barbie movie. We can't both fit anyway. No, we're not. I need to be put on a stretcher. <laughs> but anyway, so you can take this broom. Don't do what I did, and good luck. And uh, if you get hurt, contact your insurance or make sure somebody else maybe did it. <laughs> Why? Screaming from Apple. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Why? My stomach hurts. <laughs> oh my gosh! You guys did that so well. Well, let's take a let's take a look at the video with everything intact to see how close you actually came to the real deal. I'm just getting ready to go down to Cousin Ambrose's magic shop to pick up Aunt Zelda's broom. See you there. <laughs> Hi, Cousin Ambrose. Hey, Sabrina. How you doing, baby doll? Oh, I'm <laughs> just fine. Is Daddy's broom ready? 
just finished, sweetie. I gave her the full treatment. I put in a supercharger, rebored the handle, and installed all new racing straw. What a beauty. <laughs> just look at that balance. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Woo! -hoo. Wee! We're being out of control Louisa. was absolutely quiet. Oh, what a tiger. Yeah. Golly, Cousin Ambrose, are you all right? Hmm? Oh, sure, I'm okay. But watch out taking the broom home. It's designed for quick starts. And don't let it out of your reach, because if you do, your magic won't be able to control it. You guys are kind of on point with that. Like, this is like a crazier version of it. <laughs> Look, it, was, it, was, it was electric. It had uh, an autopilot. I don't know, man. Oh autopilot my gosh. broom. <laughs> Well, you know what that means? That means that since the first clip was between Top and Tiffany, that means the next clip gets to be between Basil and Heavenly. I have a Gosh. question. What's your question? Can I smack buttons on my GoXLR? Yes. Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, no, you've given go. him too much power. Oh, Woo! Go. I'm, I'm, You're just going to make me laugh. Make I'm letting like the man you. do. I'm letting the man cook, okay? Let's take a look at the second one. You know, Captain Planet wasn't the only environmentally friendly hero combating pollution. In this clip, we make way for Toxy of the Toxic Crusaders, who is ready for a date with his very nearsighted girlfriend, Yvonne, only to find out she recently got glasses. Heavenly will be playing the part of Yvonne. Let's go. <laughs> And Basil will be playing the part of our hero, Toxie. Oh <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the audio edited clip. There's Toxie and there's Miss Yvonne. <laughs> just, just the helicopter is just showing up. <laughs> God. <laughs> so there you go. All right, so I'm Toxy. You get to be Toxy. The green man. The green man. That's exactly okay. it. So you're you're gonna be Toxy, and Heavenly, of course, is gonna be the lovely Yvonne. Let's get environmental in three, <clears throat> two, <clears throat> one. Uh, knock knock. Mm -hmm. You there? Hold on a second. Hold on. Hey, check this out. Watch this. Oh, I landed oh. it. Ah, uh, you ready to go wait, to the wait, slot wait, wait, my tonight? Boyfriend. The, the what? The you, slot? What? Oh, oh no, I can see you, and I can see. You. Oh my oh. god! You look horrible. <laughs> I look horrible. Look at you. You're green. I don't like green. You stink. Oh, you I look just feel so left out. We were going to go to the slop bowl tonight. Now I'm feeling a little bit underdressed. You're looking so good. And I'm just. <laughs> what are you talking about? You look great. You have a tie. I don't have a tie. Come on, sweetheart. Yes, you're right. But... Come on, sweetheart. Look at me in the eyes. Look at me in my eye. eye. Look at me in the eye. Look at my eye. Look at, look at, look yeah. at it. It's really cute, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I guess, you know, it's your, your, your glasses are pretty cute. <laughs> Where'd my glasses go? They blew them off. Who are these guys? I don't like them. I don't like them one bit. Do you get rid of them? I have to go inside and uh, powder my nose. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> the entire oh time I was like, <laughs> Dr. Girlfriend? Yes, <laughs> sir. Dr. Girlfriend! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my, that's, all, that's what I was thinking too. I was not even thinking that. Oh no, that was oh the first gosh. thing. I, like the moment that, that oh, Heavenly was like, let me do a flip. I was like, it's Dr. Girlfriend. I want to know what was actually happening in this scene because I'm just like, what is actually the conversation? 
had the wrong oh. sound effect. I'm mad. I was supposed to have the cartoon running effect for the end. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me, Heavenly, that I gave you the power of a million men and you didn't utilize it? I pushed the wrong one. <laughs> I couldn't even tell. I couldn't even tell. Well, I can uh, I can answer you that question. This is actually what was going on during that scene. Yvonne, it's me, Toxie. Oh, Toxie, I missed you so. Oh, honey, where are you? I'm right here, Yvonne. Oh, goody, I have a surprise for you. I got new glasses so I can finally see your gorgeous face. <gasps> Yvonne, no! Oh, I should have known this would happen. How could a beautiful, oh intelligent God. girl like Yvonne Basil ever fall for yeah. a hideously deformed creature such as myself? Huh? But the minute you saw how ugly I am, you screamed. You're not ugly, you're very handsome. It's your toy that made me scream. Now that's ugly. I mean, more than ugly. It's erupt. Okay, so she's just beautiful. <laughs> Honey, I don't think I can go out tonight. I really have to wash my hair. That was so spot on. <laughs> can I go out? Wow. Wow. Well, heaven, heavenly killed it there. Yeah. You guys are wild. What the heck? That was great. That was so good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> good job, guys. I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> now that uh, we have some 1v1s out of the way, we all get an opportunity to play together in this next one. And this next clip is going to feature all four of you doing improv together in one scene. Gather your tree stars. We're headed to the Great Valley. Oh, God. <laughs> in this clip from the land before time. Oh. The land oh before God. time. Where Chomper loses a tooth, and his dinosaur friends try to help him cope with that. Basil, you will be playing the part of the flyer Petrie. <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly, you'll be playing the part of Chomper, the little T-Rex who lost his tooth. T-Rex lost tooth, okay. Tob, you will be playing the part of Littlefoot. And Tiffany will be playing the part of Daddy Threehorn. <laughs> you have to be the racist! I mean, what? <laughs> what? Wait a minute now. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he looks super racist towards other dinosaurs. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. I was so confused. I was, so I was like, what? Like, what Land Before Time movie am I seeing right now? Wait, wait, no, wait. No, in the original Land Before Time, Sarah's father, Daddy Threehorn, Hated all other dinosaurs except three horns, and <laughs> Tiffany gets to play that part. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's take a look at the audio edited clip. Here we go. There's Petrie and Littlefoot, and there goes Chomper. <laughs> Heaven, heavenly's, heavenly's chuckling is making me very nervous. <laughs> I already know what sound effect I'm using when he Oh bites. no. <laughs> uh. And here comes Daddy Threehorn. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so once again, Basil will be playing the part of, of the Flyer Petrie. Heavenly will be playing the T-Rex Chomper. Tob will be playing our, uh, our hero Littlefoot. And Tiffany will be playing Daddy Threehorn. And if you think I'm going to call him anything other than Daddy Threehorn, you are incorrect. All right. And we're about to get prehistoric in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, 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 get out of my way, suckers. This is mine oh. now. <laughs> my tool. 
gosh, that's not good. Well, I think you can good. get ears or something like that. You know, hear me out. Did you know that there's a dinosaur tooth fairy? I'm about to make so much money. God, it's so gross. I really can't look at that. Can you get it out of my face? <laughs> What's wrong with my tooth? Is something wrong with it? Does it look bad? Does it smell bad? Oh, God, you need to work, man. Well, uh, I thought you guys were my friends. I thought we were cool. I thought we were friends. I thought we were crew. I thought we were gang. What happened? Oh, uh, it's really nasty. It stinks so bad, man. Oh, you know gosh. what? That's fine. I don't like y'all anyway. Y'all stink. Y'all taller than me and y'all me. Oh. What's that smell about stinking dinosaurs that I hear over here? When it's about I, especially about I, you, I don't want head. no trouble. I don't want any trouble. I'm sorry. Little creatures. I'm what are y'all up to? What are y'all doing? I know uh, I smell oh. trouble when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> The train of the tooth is nasty. <laughs> yeah, it's like a root canal or something. <laughs> <laughs> he just looked so scared of it. <laughs> oh, he that heavenly playing. threw me off. I, I couldn't. I, I was, my brain, like, I was just laughing to myself. <laughs> 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 Let's go back and take a look at what the dinosaurs were actually talking about. <laughs> got it! He got it! <sighs> Me miss it. Yeah, but I won't. <laughs> huh? Look like tooth. Like your tooth, Chomper. My tooth? On the ground? But my teeth are supposed to be in my mouth. Me agree, but that tooth. Definitely not in that mouth. My tooth! My tooth! My tooth! <laughs> Does it hurt? No. What's next? An arm? <laughs> a leg? My tail? Me never my hear tooth. of tooth just falling out. Never. Traumatized. Never! Well, I have. Huh? And I wouldn't get too attached to that tail if I were you. It starts with a tooth. And before you know it, a fella's turning to bones and falling to pieces. Such a jerk! <laughs> He's oh, yeah. traumatizing! Why was he waiting around for that? <laughs> he <laughs> 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 no. Like, he's just waiting to just ruin a kid's, like, he's future. Like, he's, like, he's like, your whole body's gonna petrify now. You guys never had the parent that lied to you before that told you stuff like, if you have too much sugar, it'll make you hyper. Mm -hmm. yeah. I used, yeah, yeah, I used to be told if I didn't wash my hands, like I would get like worms coming out of my Worms? <laughs> what? Yeah, 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 what? Yeah, Worms? Yeah. Scare tactics, right? Oh, yeah, that's like horrific. some trichophobia stuff. Yeah, I know, I you're hated it. Keep yeah. up on your brushing and flossing, you're gonna lose all your teeth and everyone's gonna make fun of you. <laughs> or the most famous <laughs> of all, you don't want to eat watermelon seeds because you don't want a whole watermelon growing out of your belly. Right. Yeah, ah. that was a classic one. Man, my boring. family was boring. They didn't say like anything like this. Swallow gum, or it's gonna ball up inside you. They but would just maybe say, don't play in the street because you'll die to a car. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. They're go fast. <laughs> see, <laughs> just like see, normal my family place. wouldn't have done that. They would have been like, don't play in the street. A car will come to life and eat you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why not just tell the truth? <laughs> you get run over. <laughs> Wait, was my parents just Daddy Trihorn? <laughs> Now we're gonna have an actual family crisis on the show before we even get halfway through. Well, this next one also features all four of you together again. It's me and it's you and silly old Winnie the Pooh. In today's adventure, Christopher Robin has to clean his room, and his best friends from the Hundred Acre Wood know just how to do it. Basil, you will be playing the part of Winnie the Pooh. Yes. Tiffany, you'll be playing the part of Piglet. Oh, yay! Heavenly, you'll be playing a Tigger. And <laughs> Tob, you will be playing Christopher Robin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly, please. Heavenly, please. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I know what's it's going right on? There. It's right there. It's right there. I know the joke you're thinking about. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's right uh, there. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. We got this, you guys. We got this. <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna have a straight face because of you. It's right. <laughs> Are you the good? The black people on the, the black Do people on the right side get the joke. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Chad's over here like, don't you do it, no, don't you stop. do it. You don't have to no. say it, go on. No, you don't, no, you don't. <laughs> it's not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's 
take a look at the edit. The, the audio edited clip. God, I can't even talk now. Hopefully, I do not need to point out the characters in Winnie the Pooh. I will be very disappointed. <laughs> So once again, Basil will be playing the part of Winnie the Pooh. Tiffany will be playing the part of Piglet. Heavenly will be playing the part of Tigger. And Tob will be playing the role of Christopher Robin. Let's get ready to get our rooms clean in three, two, one. Let's jam. Oh, it's eight in here. Okay, guys, we gotta clean this up before five or six because my mom's gonna get home and she's gonna get really mad at me and I don't want to get in trouble because that means I can't hang out with you guys no more. Oh, this is boring. I thought we were going to smoke up and hotbox in here, Christopher Robin. Yeah, what happened? Where's the gas? Here, I'll fix your room for you. Just watch this. <laughs> Ta-da! Now we can finally come for what we were here for, the OG Kush. I don't think we're going to be able to hotbox like that, but it's okay. Maybe. <laughs> what? Then why am I here? I'm going home, Christopher. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Oh, well. Well, this will have to do. I'll never know I didn't leave. Oh, now they see me. <laughs> God damn it, Heavenly. Oh my God. You have one job, Heavenly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why was he Squidward? You were doing like a Squidward. Why were you? Tigger. Subversion of expectation. <laughs> it was good. It was so good. Disney did lose the rights. Disney do lose the rights. Yeah, Disney, Disney doesn't own Winnie the Pooh anymore. Come at me. Come at me. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the real dialogue. Oh, boy. This will take a billion zillion years. We'll never get to have any fun. Tob's being on point. Cleaning your room isn't much fun. Why can't it just be dum de dum done? Yeah, leave this to me, buddy boy. I'll have these toys organized quicker than you can say Jiminy Crockett. Well? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> well, uh, um, um, it, it looks sort of, uh, um, uh, very pile-ish. Oh, no, that's because I'm not done yet. Now you see him, and now you don't. <laughs> uh, Tigger, the mess is gone, but now Christopher Robin seems to have a mountain right in the middle of his room. Yeah, kind of ruins the view, huh? I also, Basil, had no idea that you could do the poo voice that well. That was really hey, good. Yeah, Thanks. Basil, that was really good. I just like that and Mickey for me. Every time that we have a new episode and I have new guests on, I don't let them have any information about what they're going to be facing so that it's genuine when we actually get to the episode. So in situations like this where you're playing Winnie the Pooh or uh, who was it? Oh, I think it was Digi in, in episode two or three that actually played Dr. Claw from uh, Inspector Gadget perfectly. And sometimes you guys just have voices on these already and I just don't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> Saying, uh, I was a pretty good Tigger. I don't know. I, uh... You kind of nailed it there. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was a fantastic Tig word. <laughs> we're going to take a break from doing all four of you together. We're going to go back and do a couple of one-on-ones, but this time we're going to switch it up a little tiny bit. Choke down 
an entire pan of lasagna. It's time for the Garfield show. Oh, God. <laughs> In this early morning clip, our favorite orange feline, Garfield, wakes up his owner, John, for a very special kind of reason. Tiffany, you will be playing the role of Garfield, which means Heavenly will be playing the role of of John Arbuckle. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let's take a look at the clip without. Oh, no. They, they no got me. Uh, let's take a look at the clip without the uh, without the dialogue. Oh, it's 3D Garfield. It is 3D Garfield. This is so ominous. <laughs> I don't know, you guys want to why, do you want to Rochambeau for the role of Garfield instead? No <laughs> No, you want to be okay, let's go <laughs> No, I'll be fine Take a deep breath Once again, Tiffany will be playing the role of Garfield and Heavenly will be playing the role of John Arbuckle Get ready to hate Mondays in three Two, one, let's jam. First immortality. Then the women. <laughs> I sure hope an orange cat doesn't come in my room while I'm having a good night's sleep and wake me up. For a loud sleeper, you sure make a lot of noise. <laughs> It'd be a shame if I rain this block on you. Me, me, yeah, me, 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 and where the fuck is my food, John? Me, it is seven o'clock and you're still not awake. Well, that's not my problem. Me, 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 me. Ah, spider says activate. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, you weren't supposed to know that. I'm not Spider Man. I'm uh, I'm John. I'm John Arbuckle. <laughs> the John yeah, Arbuckle. Yeah, do you remember what day it is, John? Oh my God, you it's know? 1984. <laughs> no, it's time for your colonoscopy. <laughs> Woo! It's about time. It's my favorite day of the year, baby. Let's go. Woo! Talk about taking it up the ass. It's a pain in one, too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that actually went better than that. <laughs> wow. I don't know where you were going to go with that, but colonoscopy certainly went down a specific. <laughs> a colonoscopy, it's the best day of the year. <laughs> wow! Even with Tree. the comeback at the end, too. Holy shit, that was awesome! <laughs> good job. That was guys. so good. That was so good. All right, let's take a look at the original clip. <laughs> See how close you came to the colonoscopy oh, it's dialogue. Not nowhere close. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Heather. I know how much you supermodels love cartoonists. But I promise to another. <clears throat> Yahoo! Hello! Time to get up. Very important day. Wakey, wakey. Oh, I hate to do this. No, I don't. <laughs> Animation in the show gives me the GBs. Why did you do yeah, that? Same here. You did that because it's trash night. Awkward, like hard early 2000s. It's some sort of holiday. It's. Yep. That's oh, it. Oh no! That's today. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Be sorry. 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 I'll have them in a jiff. 
Garfield's such an ass. He's I'm so, so confused. What was the day? <laughs> what? Nothing so was mean. explained. What was the Yeah. <laughs> He's oh sorry, my gosh. sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Wait, was that Juneteenth? Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh my what? god, it was Juneteenth. Yo, car feels down with the car. <laughs> what? Is that the day of the week? Yes, it is. Really? June 19th. Oh is my god. No way. <laughs> Holy shit. It's my boy. <laughs> God feels black confirmed. <laughs> the orange is just melanin. <laughs> Things that I didn't uh, didn't come prepared to learn about Garfield lore today. I <laughs> gotta give him the hat. Gotta give him the hat. <laughs> there an image of Garfield and Koofy out there. I yes, need that. I want it now. <laughs> I'm sure that exists, right? You can Google it. Like... I'm already there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Before we move on to the next one, I have to know the answer. Does it exist? I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't see it. I will make it. Have that be your next Discord PNG. <laughs> <laughs> and don't explain it to anybody. <laughs> oh my god. Just let that be your food, like your foogie for a couple of weeks. I can't find anything actually. Yeah. I'm finding some Quick other search. interesting art of Garfield. Oh, I, yeah, I <laughs> so anyway, since that last one featured Tiffany and Heavenly together, we're going to switch it up again. And we are going to have the next one be Tob and Basil together, All as a matter of right. fact. All right. It's a dog eat dog world out there, especially when you're still in high school. In this 1972 clip from The Barclays, boy crazy pups. Terry and Marsha decide to ditch their boring old chemistry class for something with a bit more <laughs> testosterone. What? <laughs> Tob, you will be playing the role of Terry, the blonde dog. And okay. Basil, you will be playing the role of Marsha, her red-haired poodle friend. Okay. Let's take a peek at the Barclays clip with the audio edited. That's Terry, that's Tob's character. And then of course the girl in the glasses is played by Basil, that's Marsha. I didn't really realize they were furries going yeah. in. So I was like, they're, they're animals. I'm like, yeah. no, they're furries from like the 1970s? Yeah. yeah. I'm confused at the beginning. You're like, dogs? Like, high school? What the fuck? Yeah, no, I was like, like I was so movie, confused. kind of. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, the Barclays was a very short-lived show uh, back in the 70s. It was a furry family of dogs. What are the names of the characters again? Uh, you are Marsha, the, the red one with the glasses. Uh, yeah. And Tob is going to be playing Terry, who is the blonde girl. Okay. okay. All right. Get ready to, I guess, get our testosterone on, I guess, in <laughs> three, two, one. Let's jam. Ah. Well, there you go. There you go. Jake. Thanks, I guess. Oh, my God. I hate school. I hate learning. I hate chemistry. What is... Oh, God! <laughs> What is this orange Fanta? Why did they give us this? Yourself. I know it. It's Dayquil. We should drink it together. You and me. But Dayquil is not the one that gets you crazy. It's the Nyquil instead. Wouldn't that be better? Oh no, this Dayquil shit's real nuts. Really? Huh. Like, no, maybe what we could do is we could drink a little bit of the Dayquil and then. Yeah? Oh. Well, I totally, I would, I'm not with And that. then maybe we can go to the nurse's office and just say that we're not really feeling good. 
Oh, we can get some ibuprofen? Yes, yes, exactly. And then we could take all of that, right? And then we could just say, oh, we're not feeling good. And then we can learn and we can maybe... We can go for a drive. I think we should do that. Yeah, once I get my car fixed because I crashed the other day. Oh, maybe we should stop having me. Probably <laughs> during the day. <laughs> So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was like probably like the most improv of, like like I, I literally from the beginning I was like I have no idea where to take this at all. So I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> Hell yeah, drugs. <laughs> where was, where like was the seventies? Where was the testosterone thing? Like was that just the prompt? Probably skip class and go to the mechanic place. Probably. Oh, interesting. <laughs> you're, you're actually dead on there, Tubbs. Let me uh, let me let me play the original clip clip and give you a little bit more context. Oh my god! Oh my god! This chemistry <laughs> class is a drag, Terry. Yeah. Hand me the wow. next chemical, Marsha. Well, here goes nothing. Just what I was afraid of, nothing. Well, there's one consolation. We only have a few more days of this class. Then we can choose all new ones. That's sure a relief. Chemicals and me just don't mix. What do you think we ought to take? I've got it. What is it that makes school interesting, even though we have to go to a lot of difficult classes? That's easy. Boys. Right. We'll get in a class where there's nothing but boys. Boys glee club? No, but there is one class where we could get in and we could be the only girls. All the rest would be boys. What class is that? I'll enroll right now. Just like it says here. Auto mechanics class. Enroll today. Must furnish car to work on. So wow. clearly... <laughs> <laughs> the boys. We go to the boys class and be surrounded by boys. <laughs> Wow, I didn't make that connection. I was like, oh, maybe they just really are interested in fixing cars and they don't want to do chemistry. <laughs> That's literally what I thought. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. That's the joy of only giving you half the context. You just run yeah. with it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have something. You have something? What kind of something? Yes. Bye. What is that? Oh, no. <laughs> what are you made of yourself? I'll do it myself. <laughs> I see that on Twitter, I'm gonna be so upset. So I can retweet it. That's my boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> Were you doing that the whole time? Yes. So much work. And laughing too hard, I had to mute myself because I was like, I'm <laughs> ruining it. Oh, God. He looks so confident and like, he's real. He's is real so strong. He's uh, orange. Oh, that kills. <laughs> <laughs> So we are, uh, we're coming up close to the end of the show here, and we have uh, two more clips to go. And both of these clips will feature all four of you working together. No other cartoon taught us what growing up in the Big Apple was really like more than Hey Arnold. When a very relatable heat wave hits New York, Arnold, looking to cool off, stumbles upon chaos happening at the ice cream truck. <laughs> All right, so Basil, you will be playing the Jolly Ollie man, the ice cream guy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Heavenly will be playing Arnold. <laughs> Tom, you will be playing Sid. And Tiffany, you will be playing Eugene. If you are unfamiliar with these characters, I will point them out to you. Let's take a look at the edited clip first. There's Arnold, the blonde, that's Sid in the backwards cap. That's Tob. There's Eugene and the Jolly Ollie Man.
feels very appropriate to be putting a heat wave uh, clip during one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I can hear all the audio in my head. I love this. I mean <laughs> yeah. I have to think how to get that audio out of my head. We, who's who again? Your uh, auto. Okay. Yeah, ba Basil will be play or Basil will be played by Basil actually. Uh Basil Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh Basil will be playing the Jolly Ollie man, the ice cream guy. Uh Tob will be playing Sid uh with the backwards cap. Heavenly will be playing Arnold Shortman and just so you know, Shortman is actually his last name. Yeah, I know. Uh, like, or not yeah. the cartoon. <laughs> uh and Tiffany will be playing Eugene, the kid trying to buy an ice cream from the Jolly Ollie man. And not doing so well. Let's get ready to beat the heat in three, two, one. Let's jam. Oh my goodness gracious, it is so hot. Hey, my brother, you got sweat stains. No, dude. Vag, you got any deodorant on here or something, dude? I'm sweating out the pits right now, dude. What are you, broke? No, I just, I forgot it today, man. I don't know. My dad took it. I, I don't know. Was he eating it? That's just weird. Step aside, pets, since I have money. I don't give I a shit. I said you four quarters. That should be enough, right? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> hey, you can't say that to us. We're a bunch of kids, man. We just want some ice cream. You know what? In fact, we want all the ice cream. And if you can't give us ice cream, you have to 1v1 me in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, the interventions only. Rust, let's go. Ah, uh, fine. Okay, well, as long as you don't have Marty done, that's great. I was gonna use it. What? You know what? That's not fair. That's not fair. Hey, everybody! You see this idiot right here? See this big dumb stupid head? Flip his truck. Yeah, that was patriarchy. That was capitalism. I got this. Let me lift this. I'm gonna stop my kids' butt. Oh my scoliosis. <laughs> <laughs> And like I'm like the only thing that comes to my brain is like he's just cussing this kid out. And it, it is Brooklyn, isn't it? Like I feel like it is from New York, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. It's fitting. Yeah. <laughs> it threw me That's off it. so badly. <laughs> Oh my god, my head hurts. You guys all did such a good job with that. Wow. Uh, I'm so, I'm so <laughs> Tom's like, like nasally, like. Oh out. god. It's too hot outside, dude. <laughs> uh. <laughs> why, why is he the only one with pit stains also? That's so messed up. Oh, yeah. He's a sweater. He's a sweater. Some people sweat more than others. Oh my god. <laughs> You got the deodorant, bro. <laughs> I'm back from this convention. <laughs> With the Patreon. I couldn't think of anything. I was like, I was like, I was like, capitalism. What else was like, cast down with Flip something else? The like, track. Patreon. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, let's go back and see what the original clip actually was. <sighs> What's going on? Price gouging. The jerk's charging 20 bucks for a scoop of ice cream. Uh, 20 bucks? Well, actually, rum raisin is only 15, but he wants 30 for cookie dough. But that's no fair. I'll take a snow cone. $18. All I have is 70 cents. What'll that get me? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Hey, I finally found a little relief from the heat. A little ice cream. You snatch it away. You'd better sell me some ice cream at a fair price, or face the consequences. You can't do anything, you're just a kid. Oh yeah? No ice cream, no peace! 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 Yeah, let's turn it over! Yeah, let's turn it over! Is there a doctor in the house? You guys did so good on that one. <laughs> oh man, I love that show. Oh, I grew up on that show. It was, yeah. it was one of my favorites.
During that time period, a lot of cartoons didn't tackle, you know, like living with your grandparents, not having your parents around, like deep stuff that were relevant at the time. I guess that means we are down to our last clip of the show. No ice cream, no peace. <laughs> no ice cream, no peace. So this one also will feature all four of you together for the finale. It looks like modern man's got prehistoric company with the extreme dinosaurs. Those Great Jurassic show. jerks, the reckless raptors, enlist the aid of a scientist in order to cause mass global warming. <laughs> Heavenly will be playing the part of Spitter, who is the pink dinosaur. Okay. Uh, Tob, you'll be playing the part of the scientist, Ludlow. Okay. Basil, you'll be playing the part of Bad Rap, who is the orange dinosaur. Okay. And Tiffany, you'll be playing the part of Hax, who is the brown dinosaur. All right, so... Let's take a look at the edited version. Is that the brown one? Or is that one in the water the brown one? The one in the water is the brown one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That's Ludlow. again what's like the prompt for this? <laughs> i'll repeat it for you uh <laughs> those jurassic jerks the reckless raptors enlist the aid of a scientist to cause mass global warming so once again spitter will be played by heavenly that's the pink dinosaur with the stuff on his face yeah yeah like the tubes okay yeah uh tob will be playing playing the part of ludlow who's the scientist uh, Basil will be playing Bad Rap, that's the orange dinosaur talking to the scientist. And Tiffany will be playing Hax, the brown, uh, raptor in the water. All right, so let's get prehistoric for a second time during this episode in three, two, one. Let's jam. Hey, which one of you raggedy motherfuckers shit in the pool again? Shit stinks. Now I can't swim in here and I gotta clean up after you. It's nasty ass. It's Oh, you scared me. Oh, my. I didn't poop in it. I was releasing my mixtape. Oh, the screen's glowing. Mods, help. Help. Mods, mods, help. Help me, please. I don't know what's happening. Screen about the mods again. Also, it was me that shat in the water off the West Coast. And it's going to cause global warming in about um a couple days. It's a pretty big deuce, actually. Um, But I think it'll work out quite well for our plans. But let's get Lolo on the phone. God, and I just woke up. I gotta stop drinking before night. God, I just felt like I just hung out with a bunch of dinosaurs or something. Wait a minute, who the fuck's that? Hey, were we hanging out last night? Do you remember? Yes, yes, hello. Come on, get yourself together. You're always like... Well, we was drinking Modelo's. When I drink them, I don't remember anything. Hey, who's shit in the pool? Especially? I don't give a shit you're about my Modelo's. You have to be here. You have to be prompt. And we have a plan. We have a thing. And you're always disappointing us. What is your problem? I hate you! <laughs> 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 this is what happens when he doesn't get his modellos, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking intervention with Lola. So, 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 so much better because he actually looks drunk. Fucking Tom, I almost lost it when he talked about modellos. I like. Like, I was gonna die. I was going to die. <laughs> we, we always have a plan. You always do this. <laughs> That's the whole damn episode. That's the entire thing. Cut, oh print. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy god. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Take a breath. <laughs>
All right, let's 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 go back and see who didn't shit in the pool in the original version. <laughs> I swear to God, if someone did something in the pool, I'm gonna be dead. Come on in, you two. You could use a bath. We get my drift because I'm certainly getting yours. You just keep soaking your head, Hex. Maybe your brain will expand. All right, Ludlow's connected a transmitter into command station two, <laughs> and we're help. online. <laughs> Put their fleet into motion to these coordinates in the Indian Ocean. Two sectors down, three more, and we're on our way to heating this planet up into a hot, steamy raptor paradise. <laughs> Ludlow to bad rat. <laughs> the prince is here, that snotty little troublemaking twit. I should know, I was his computer tutor for three miserable months. Continue as ordered. Oh no! This thing's got to be aborted. If your plan fails, then I'm left with no desperate human race to rule. Listen to me, you petulant primate. You complete your assignment or learn what it's like to tick off a velociraptor. <laughs> <laughs> Basically the same thing. Basically. <laughs> Basically. These last, these last two, job. we've been... <laughs> We've like retained the exact vibe and tone of these last two, like heightened it. <laughs> well, fellas, that does bring us to the end of uh, episode six. I would like to thank all of you for being guests this week. Thank you to the returners. Thank you to our new guests. I appreciate you so much. You are absolutely funny as <laughs> and I love you. <laughs> we love you, Pumpkin. We love you too. Thank you for having us. Of course. Yes, Thank you for fun. being here. For those watching, for those uh, that are going to be on Patreon, if you would like to check out any of my lovely friends below, you can check them out on Twitch TV at their respective names on the ribbon. Uh, please go give them plenty of support, plenty of love. They're wonderful people and super funny. This episode will become available on Patreon today. It will be going live on YouTube a week after that. Patreon supporters do receive the episode early and they do receive additional things such as roles on the Discord and their names in the ending credits, etc., etc., as well as a bunch of other little secret goodies. You can check that out at exclamation point Patreon. And until next time, you can check out this show again every single Saturday at 2 p.m. EST, 11 a.m. Pacific time. So thank you guys again. We will see you next time. Thank you for joining us. Have a really wonderful rest of your heckin' weekend. If you are looking for me, I will see you again here Monday morning for the Monday morning community breakfast. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.